Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wacom Intuos Photo Tablet for all you creative people out there who want to use some, uh, some touch or pen input when you're going to edit photos, edit videos. Um, this thing is great when you're going to, to work around in Photoshop, Lightroom, and other uh, editing softwares of the sort. Um, it gives you a little bit more control. It allows you to trace out um, on better lines. Now they do have other versions that are for drawing, um, and those ones come in different sizes. They have small, mediums, and even a, a larger scale one as well. This is the small one. Uh, this one comes with a, a few accessories just for uh, just for the photo editing part. Um, so let's uh, open it up and see what we have. Hey everyone, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wacom Intuos Photo Tablet. Uh, this will work on both Windows and Mac operating systems. Um, essentially what this is, is a little tablet that gives you uh, pen input uh, that you can use for a little bit better control when you're editing photos or, or drawing. If you want to get you know, specific lines or do specific edits. Um, it gives you a little bit more control and precision uh, versus using your normal mouse. Um, this one right here, like I said, is the photo version. It comes with a few extras. Um, that are geared towards um, editing, editing photos and possibly doing some color correction in videos if you can, uh, you can use it for that. Um, they do make other ones that will allow you to, um, to, for drawing, those ones come in a medium or a small size as well. This one's the small, um, they don't make a medium size for the photo. You could get uh, one of the drawing ones if you want the bigger one uh, and use it for photo editing. Um, this one's just geared towards photo editing because it comes with a few extras um, that you can use for photo editing. Um, some extra add-ins, like this comes with the free, the free photo pack here from Wincom that you need to download um, with this purchase. And I would uh, assume that the art and um, the drawing ones like that, they come with different packs that you get from them as well. So, why don't we open this up and see what we have in the box. All right, so before we start with the unboxing, let's take a look around the packaging and see what we have. Um, on the front here, you can see this is what I mentioned previously, where you get the, the free photo pack, which includes um, some, uh, some creative software as well as, well as some, um, some online training. Uh, you can see here that this is the tablet itself. You get the pen. Um, let's see on the side. Uh, here it works for both Windows and uh, a Mac. This will work for Windows 10 as well. It says Windows 8 on the packaging. Um, this just came out before Windows 10 was released. Um, and then you just have basic, basic features, uh, a quick guide, and just shows that this will actually work via um, USB uh, right here um, when you plug it into your computer. They do make a wireless adapter that you can pick up for this um, that would allow it to work um, wirelessly, but that's an additional $50, I believe. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, though, feel free to go and pick that up. Um, I just have this here because I'm going to use this at my main workstation when I'm editing photos, so I do not need, um, need it to be wireless. Um, I can deal with having the wire and save myself the 50 bucks. So let's take out the old knife and see what we've got inside. Uh, it looks like we just have this one piece here to cut. Put the knife aside and let's see what we've got. This box slides out of this cover. Can just open this up and there you go so this guy is wow it's actually really small i was expecting it to be um kind of the at least the size of the whole box um but yeah i mean this is small i mean you can see just the size of my hand i mean it's it's not big this is actually really nice though for a compact if you need to take this somewhere if this is going to be used for traveling um this is i can see some definite benefits um using it that way so we'll put that aside see what we got in here. I'm guessing this is just, you know, your typical brochure, um, startup guides and information of that sort. Uh, there you go. And it looks like this is, uh, this is the driver for Windows um, and Mac as well. So we definitely need to, to keep that and use that for the install. Set that aside. And here looks like uh, USB cable nicely uh, covered up on the ends there so it's just micro USB to regular USB 
Um, nothing out of the ordinary here. Set that aside. And then this right here is the actual pen itself. Um, let's take this out of the packaging. So really, really nice uh, plastic. Um, it is a little light. I wished it would have been a little bit heavier to kind of replicate an actual pen, but it does feel really good in the hand. It's a really nice length. Um, personally, I don't like um, like how long the Apple Pencil is. I think that's a little bit too long. Um, so I think that this size is really good. And then let's open up this guy right here and see what, how it is. All right, so here we go. Um, like I said, this is plastic as well, um, but you know, it has a really solid feel. Um, with it being so small, I'm glad that it's uh, a little bit stronger. Let's see, it looks like this actually pushes up. So this is where you could add the battery pack for it being um, wireless. Right now it's going to get all of its power over um, USB. Um, but if we look in here too, so this is where the wireless adapter would plug in. You'd put your battery here and you would be good to go for the wireless kit that comes with it. Like I said, that was about um, $49 when I looked at it. Um, I didn't want to spend the money on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the USB portion of it. So we don't have to worry about any of these. We can just leave these protective pieces in here. It looks like you do get extra tips um, that come with it that store back here as well. So that is really nice. Let's put this back on. And there you go. So why don't we uh, break out the MacBook and connect this up and see what we've got. So now that we got it all hooked up to the to the uh, Mac here, um, if you're like me and you don't have a CD drive um, in your Mac or PC that you're going to be installing this in, um, you'll need to go to um, the website that's listed in the manual. So here we go. We went to their website. We clicked uh, just to get their drivers, and we clicked that right here. So we are actually going to go to our downloads folder. I've already downloaded this um, at the top here, and we are going to uh, install. So it will open this up, and uh, this is actually this is actually their preferred method. If you look in the um, instructions manual itself, it says that this is the way um, that they would prefer um, you to do the install. And there we go. The install was successful. So now it looks like it's going to um, require require a restart. So why don't we give it a restart? All right, so we got the software installed, the computer rebooted. Um, when it reboots, you'll notice the first thing that's gonna come up is this little Wacom desktop center. Um, so here we can see uh, my devices. We have the Intuos uh, photo tablet small. Um, we can view this and change any of our pen settings. Um, so right now, let's see, we gotta turn this on. And there we go, touch on. So now we can actually use this as a big trackpad um, it's not going to be as accurate, um, but then we'll also be able to use um, this when we go around and, and use the, the pen. Um, now to actually use this to move the mouse around, you actually hover um, directly above um, the surface. Um, and that will allow you to, to move the mouse around and then when you actually want to uh, touch on something, you would actually just um, go ahead and tap. So this is where we could uh, make any of the adjustments, our pointer speed, pointer acceleration. Um, and all of that. Uh, why don't we uh, go ahead and uh, open up Lightroom and, and see what we can edit uh, in here. All right, so now that we have uh, Lightroom up, we have a picture selected here, so why don't we go ahead and uh, use the brush to try and, uh, or the pen and tablet to do some editing. Um, so we can actually go over here, uh, we'll select this picture, and we will create a, uh, a virtual copy of this picture. Um, now, where this could come in handy is where you want to um, do some brush, uh, some brush editing. So uh, let's say that we want to increase the exposure of this building here. I mean, it's really dark and we want to get some of the features um, of this building. So we could come over here to the brush tool, increase our exposure here, and now we can use this um, to go along uh, and increase the exposure of uh, the front of the building, as you can see here, um, as it starts to uh, come into view.
So as you can see, we brightened up the front of this building um, and gave it a little bit more, a little more characteristic. Um, the best part is, is that uh, you get the, the pressure sensitivity, which you can adjust, um, which would help make um, your edits a little, a little more, um, a little more precise in the way you want them. We can zoom in here. You can see we can. It's a lot easier to draw along this line than it would be to use a mouse. Um, so that's nice. I really like that. Um, and then we can come over um, here. The one thing I will say you have to get used to is the fact that this doesn't operate like a normal mouse. Um, the dots that you would see uh, on this keyboard or on the tablet here actually represent the whole entire screen here. So when I put the, uh, the stylus in the corner over here, you'll see that it actually goes to that corner and vice versa if I bring it over here, it actually goes over here. So one thing that you would have to get used to is it doesn't actually act like a normal, um, a normal mouse. Um, and you would have to know that, you know, if you want to be in the corner, you have to kind of get to the corner over here. Um, it will take some getting used to, but um, just using it to lighten up the front of this building real quick uh, here just to show you guys. Um, I definitely think there's going to be some great things that I can use this for. and It'll definitely improve my photo editing. Um, if you guys are interested in any of my photo editing or want me to make some videos of, of me going out and shooting, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd love to make some of those and you can check out my Instagram, which I will link uh, somewhere over here in the corner of the table. And um, if you guys have anything else that you would like me to unbox or, or give you guys information on, please let me know. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, that was the Wacom Intuos Photo Tablet. Um, if there's anything else you guys want me to unbox or things that you're interested in, please let me know. Uh, I hope you guys, like I said, you liked this video and it was, uh, it was helpful if you, this is something you want to purchase. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. I will definitely give a link to Amazon as to where I got this uh, in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.